Nothing captures the spirit of baseball more than this, a father and son playing catch. In Miami, the Magic City, Kansas City Royals second year player MJ Melendez and his father, Mervil, are warming up for a special 2023 season. I don't think I'd be here the same spot I am today without him. It's been everything to me. It, it helped me, you know, and mold me into the player I am today. Mervil spent the past 26 years as a Division I college baseball coach, 23 of those as a head coach, and was most recently at Florida International University. I serve as a, as a BP thrower, an assistant, you know, hitting coach, assistant fielding coach, and assistant everything. Whatever he needs at this point and giving him advice, you know, how to uh, take a certain swing and a certain approach at the plate. Don't go sideways. Don't go. For Merville, he and his 24-year-old son are on the same team. We compete in everything that, that, that we do. It could be um, just playing dominoes and, and we're just going to argue. We're going to be extremely, extremely competitive. And I, and I think that if he keeps that mindset, uh, he's going to be very successful. Those balls need to be thrown, right? If he goes from this bag, being punished like that, probably his balls want to stay there more than they want to be hit by him. MJ practices at his old high school, Westminster Christian School, the same place where Alex Rodriguez became a star. This is where he and his dad started training, following the daily disciplines to become a big leaguer. After belting 18 home runs as a rookie, MJ hopes to establish himself as a star, a core player at the heart of the Royals' rebuild. That one needs to be him more out front, I think. Oh, it's extremely important. After you know my rookie season, being able to get my feet wet, um, being able to experience, uh, you know, what it is to play in the big leagues, to, to play against the highest level of competition day in and day out. Uh, now that I know what that's like, you know, just being able to go out and try to dominate. Uh, we have uh, some new coaches. It's important to go out and try to win. MJ Melendez is a catcher by trade. However, he's blocked by five-time gold glover Salvador Perez. Melendez spent this offseason working on his agility and fly ball routes. Melendez hadn't tasted the outfield until last year. Doing that at the biggest, at the highest level it was, you know, pretty crazy to me. But, uh, you know, my teammates really helped me out. And uh, I've been in contact with them, you know, being able to find some drills to do. I feel very confident going into this next season, being able to, you know, really show a lot of improvement. MJ had slumps both defensively and offensively during his rookie season. That's when he leaned on his family. I talk to him every day, good or bad, you know, baseball or not baseball, it's not always baseball, but I can be hard headed, but uh, that's the part where he's a dad and I don't like to always admit when I'm wrong. So sometimes I still won't. And I'll just kind of like in the back of my head, I'll know he's right, but I just won't admit it to him because I don't want to give him that satisfaction. It's those little things that kind of help, you know, make me into a man and just mature me throughout the whole process. A lot of people say, hey, you know, how does it feel to have a big leaguer? Well, I feel the same way that every pr proud parent feels. Um, it just happens that, that he is out on TV doing what he loves doing, right? And the bloodline's just always been competitive. I've always tried to be humble, and, and that's the most important thing. That's my parents taught me to always be humble, and I feel like I always have been. But I think even if the numbers don't show it, I always feel like I'm the best player on the field, and one day that will, that will kind of prove itself. What are you, a big leaguer? It all starts with a ball, a dad, and a kid with a dream. There's nothing more iconic than a father and son playing catch. How much longer can you guys do that for? <laughs> Forever. I have no issues. Until I retire. Yeah, I tell him, you know, if we start long tossing even further, that he's gonna have to get a phone go. And I think, you know, it's it's probably realistic uh, just so that, you know, he gets the ball there. No shot. If not, it's gonna be rolling. <laughs> it's gonna be ground ball. 